Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video. Life just got pretty crazy, especially when you add in the holidays. But I'm back at it, pushing heavier than ever. It's time to give you some updates. The 69 Barracuda, codenamed Operation Venomous Fish, is relatively similar in the condition that you saw it last. I've still got the T56 trans in there, suspension's done. I did finish moving, a little hard to tell with it being black, but did finish moving this motor mount setup. Nicked my, uh, my boot on the jack and pinion in the process, but no biggie, I'll replace that. Still have a lot of work to do here, uh, and that's fine. My focus right now has primarily been on the V10. So I'll show you where I'm at with this. This is the underside, of course. Here's the windage tray. The oil pan is complete. This was notched, essentially the uh, top portion was cut, took out about two inches, made this uh, a rear slash mid sump pan. And with that, the old pickup tube had to go. So I've actually been fabricating a new pickup tube you can see here, not complete yet. Still need to do a few bends. That's the hole for where it inserts. Go up, have the screen come up right in the center. Still a lot of work to do there. All these things are you know, custom. They take a lot of time and uh, aren't really great content. So I've just been trying to pluck away at them whenever I have the opportunity. Now as soon as I get the oil pickup tube finished, a bulk of the custom work for the V10 will be finished. I'll be able to put that in, button up the bottom end, and then finish reassembling it with that new camshaft and those new rockers. Once this V10 is complete and back is a, a long block, I'll be able to drop it in the CUDA and hopefully that's the last time I have to put it in or out. As soon as I get it in, there's a lot more work I gotta do. Exhaust, headers, steering, you name it, but at least it's progress. I'm making a big push to get that done this year. I'm sick and tired of this car sitting in the garage needs to be running. Now I've been collecting a lot of parts for this car. This giant box next to it, this is actually a brand new windshield from AMD. So the one on it, it's got a massive crack on it. It's right underneath the cover, the blanket rather. So that'll go in with it. I've got a new dash pad, a new dash, it's a custom dash actually from uh, Autometer. And then I'll be able to finish some of the tweaking stuff with the transmission interior you name it got to build a whole steering column which i have i have one from uh motion raceworks it's a custom kit so i'll install that uh, you know it's it's just time i've got the parts so i'm glad that i've got some time now to where i can allocate to this and there's no excuse this is going to start running and driving here relatively soon you know i've had a few people ask me would i go this route again put the v10 into the 69 fish you know, I don't know if I would. I could have had this car running and driving, ripping burnouts down the street two years ago if I was just going big block or even earlier if it was a small block. Um, definitely trying to do a one-off here. Uh, I'm excited for it to be finished. I don't know if I'm going to do something at this level again with the V10. The V10 is just such a massive engine. It's so difficult to fit in these cars. A B or an E body would have been way easier. A body is probably the hardest platform. Early A, even worse. But... It is what it is. I've gone this far. I'm not backing down now. I'm getting this complete. And I'm going to cruise it down the street, rip some burnouts, listen to the V10 music. It's only a matter of time. So would I do it again? Probably not. Probably would have gone big block, to be honest, or Gen 3 Hemi. But uh, too deep in the woods now. So it's no backing down. Now, the 69 Cuda has been on the channel since the very beginning. This has actually been a project of mine for around four years. I've owned the car for going on 10 years now since I got it back in the family. Uh, so this is pretty well known. If you've been watching the channel, you also know about the 68 Dart over there underneath the cover. I did a lot of work to that for the 3K Drag Challenge and a bunch of other things. That car I've actually got an update on uh, and honestly this update just came in this weekend. So I'm going to post a dedicated video on that. I'm really excited for it as well. Uh, and I'll showcase exactly what's next for the 68 drop top. And in addition to both of those projects, 
there's a third project that I haven't announced on the channel. You don't know about it. I had an idea about two years ago to do it. Um, got this truck, rather, about a year ago, and I'm finally making big pushes on getting this thing running and driving. I want it to be my daily driver, actually. Uh, and so I will post a dedicated video on that. I don't want to spill the beans here on this video. Uh, but I'm really excited because I'm partnering with a shop local to the San Diego area, uh, and that project's going to move very quick. That one, on a powertrain perspective, should be completely done in a matter of just two or three months. So that's going to go quick. Look for this on the channel. Already gave you away. It's a truck, of course. It's a tin grill from the 70s, so there'll be more to follow on that. Uh, and that's my update for this video. And I don't normally make videos where I'm just sitting here talking. I like to be building, grinding, doing something, right? Testing it out. Um, a lot more of that to come, of course. But with all the custom stuff and everything that's been going on, I figured I'd bring you guys up to speed. So I'm going to be pushing out a lot more videos on all three of these projects. And I hope you enjoy them. Let me know what you think about the projects in the comments below.